All right, so uh, the story of Kevinum, Private Kevinum. So Private Kevinum wanted to kick my ass. I had no idea why. One day he shows up to my barracks, shows up to my room in the barracks, and takes my name tag off of my uniform and puts it across his, his, the crotch of his pants. And I was like, and I remember I was sitting there, I was watching The Walking Dead on my iPad, like curled up in a little blanket burrito. And I looked up and I was like, Kevin, um, can you put my fucking name tag back? And he was like, fuck you. And I was like, oh. I don't want to, whatever this is, I'm just not interested. Whatever the fuck, whatever you're trying to prove or whatever this is meant to convey, I'm not interested. Can you just take my name tag off? And he was like, fuck you, man. Fuck you, pussy. And I was like, okay, great. All right. Um, and so I said, uh, Kevin, um, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna count to five and he was like, fight me, bitch. I was like, okay. Okay, Kevin, um, listen, I'm gonna count to five. And if by the time I get to five, you haven't taken my fucking name tag off your crotch, I'm going to stand up. I'm gonna choke you out cold. And I'm gonna drag you out of this fucking room and close the door. And he was like, yeah, I, I fucking hope you would, you fucking, bu you fucking pussy. And I was like, all right. Okay. Um, I wanna show you guys the video because my roommate ended up recording the whole thing. So I was like, okay, one, two, three. And he unzips his pants, pulls down his boxers and puts my name tag across his dick like on his actual cock. And, but I still give him the benefit of the doubt. I still give him the benefit of the doubt. And I continue counting. And I was like, four, five. And he's like, yeah, you fucking, you fucking pussy. So um, I stand up and it's, dude, the fucking, the fucking video is nuts. I can't post it in Discord because unfortunately you can't post videos to Discord for whatever reason. It doesn't let you post videos like from your phone. It just doesn't let me, or maybe that's an Android thing, but it, they're, they're, is this a real fucking story? Yeah, it is. So the video is really interesting because uh, something that you might not know about your boy, Milton T. Pike one, uh, I have been practicing jujitsu for 15 years. Uh, you could upload it to YouTube and then post it in Discord. Well, I don't even think, I don't, it's not that bad genuinely. I think, I genuinely think the part of the video that I have on my phone is not a TOS violation. Genuinely, Darkstorm. Uh, because basically what happened was, I'll tell you guys what happened and then I'll, and then maybe if we get the, the go ahead from um, Darkstorm, I'll show you guys the clip off of my phone. Um, basically, I stand, I, in the video, I stand up and I like take my earbuds out and I stand up off the bed and I go up to, uh, I go up to Private Kevinum very slowly with a smile on my face and he's standing there looking very proud and I immediately spin him around and immediately lock in a rear naked choke and then I just fall over backwards and um, and I had him in this rear naked choke. I mean, I'm not gonna report you. Okay, well, we got the go ahead check. Give me a second. Let me see if I can find it here. Let me see if I can find it here. because I think you guys would find it interesting. Fucking private Kevinum. Give me a moment. Just wait a moment. Just wait a moment, sir. It sucks that my fucking, like, all my videos and all the rest are all in this fucked up order. It's all just a goddamn mosh pit in here. None of this makes any sense. Give me a second here, chat. Uh, I might have to give up. We might have to relinquish. We might have to relinquish. What did it fucking be under? I don't understand. Like, I'm pretty sure it would be under my iPhone album, but it's just like... Oh, it doesn't make any fucking sense, man. Um, damn, damn, damn. Damn, damn, damn.
it'd be and like it, it only makes sense for me to show you guys right now because uh it, it's pretty it'd be pretty underwhelming to show you if i found it later it just wouldn't make sense so i tell you what I'll, I'll i'll quickly skim through right now and if i can't find it then we'll just say fuck it and i'll just tell you guys the story so uh your boy milton has been in jujitsu for 15 years uh i have been practicing primarily japanese jujitsu under a uh, former cop who's like a sixth dan black belt and um i ended up actually coaching the entire western canada um grappling team for my army battalion and a lot of the guys that i trained went on to win gold medals in the military-wide competition which was pretty fucking cool in uh, 2016, 2015, 2016. Uh, so your boy Kevin, um, didn't know that because I don't talk about it. It's not something that I try to brag about. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't think that I'm tougher than other people. <laughs> I never go, I'll kick your ass, bitch. <laughs> I took jujitsu. It's, I, I didn't take it for that reason. Uh, so it's not something that I try to walk around like my cock is 10 feet long and made out of concrete. Um, man, where the fuck would it be? This is such a bummer, man. I don't understand where the fuck it would be these like does does the uh does do android phones not have a subsection specifically for videos that's the annoying part if i could if i could sort my shit according to videos i'd be able to find it like that oh i just found pictures from the cucumber story oh boy those would get me banned immediately Ooh. yikes Oh man, ho oh, ho, those would be an instant ban. That would be, we would, this channel would never see the light of day again if those pictures came out. Um, yeah, that sucks. I don't know. Sorry guys. I, uh, I don't know where the fuck it would be. I know for a fact, I know for a fact that it has to be on here. I'm a hundred percent sure, but I have no idea where to find it. I don't know where to look for it. That sucks, man. Well, anyways, whatever. There's no way to search for, go to my files and videos. I don't actually know how to do that, if I'm being honest. Use file, should be a my files folder. I don't see that. Albums, I see pictures, albums, stories, and shared. That's all I see. I don't see a my files at all. The app, my files, my files app. My files, my files, videos, iPhone. Okay, this looks promising. Uh, this looks like all my vines of which I have 700 on my phone. I don't understand that. Like I had other videos that I, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. What the fuck is this one? Oh, whoops. I want to go show on that one. Okay, we might actually find it here. We might actually find it here, guys. We might actually find it here. Give me a second. I have a video on my phone of when I got a guy fired from the military. Uh, I almost want to show you guys but I feel really bad for the dude who got the ax dropped on him. I long story short, I was playing uh, enemy force and um, I was told to make this guy's life difficult. So I did do that thing. I did make his life difficult and uh, he was trying to detain me and I just kept on fucking with him. And then I turned around and ran away and I had made him so mad that he shot me in the back like eight times with simunition. And they were like, well, you just shot an unarmed person who was running away from you. Have fun no longer being in the infantry. It was bad, I felt bad for him. <sighs> but also don't kill people that run away from you. That should be a given, you know? Mm, let's see. We'll get there, chat. We'll get there. If it's not, if I don't find it through this, I will accept defeat. 
it's really it's only like a four second clip that i have on here i have the full video somewhere else but i thought it might be funny just to show you guys the quick little the quick little zzz. halfway through searching we're about halfway through no sign of it yet where the fuck are you come come to me come to me come on come on stupid fucking kevin him you fucking idiot Not looking hopeful. I know that I have it on a hard drive. I'll just get it off the hard drive at some point. Edit it down to where it's not a TOS violation. Man, what the fuck? Well, I can't find it on there. Anyways, God damn it. Okay. So the whole point here is Kevinum. Um Kevinum. Why I, I count to five, he doesn't do anything. So I uh I walk up and I uh, spin him around and I get him into a rear naked choke and I get him down onto the ground and I just start like passionately making out with him. No. Um I start, I start to choke him a little bit and I hear him go gah, 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 gah. and I was like, what's that? And I hear him go gah, 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 gah. <laughs> so I, I loosen up the pressure a little bit. Oh, zero months remaining, fucking nailed it. And I'm like, what? I, so I, I loosen up the pressure a little bit and I hear him say, don't actually choke. And I said, what? And he said, don't actually choke me. And I said, yeah, of course I'm gonna actually choke you, you fucking idiot. You put my name tag across your dick. What do you mean, don't actually choke you? I told you I was gonna do exactly what I was gonna do, you fucking moron. And so I, I made him a deal. I said, apologize for putting my name tag across your dick. And all of a sudden, real quick, I feel what feels like hot water um, being poured on my head. And I realize that it's probably blood because he, because he's a real G, wore rings on all of his fingers and had punt, started punching me in the side of the head as hard as he could. So I grabbed both of his arms. Now I've got I've got him in like a, a body tri a body triangle from the back, and I grabbed both of his arms and I was like. Kevin, did you just punch me in the fucking head? And he was like, yeah, I did, bitch. Like, what are you gonna do about it? And then my probably my favorite part of the video is you hear you hear me, and I'm like, did you just fucking punch me? Like, I could break both of your arms right now. I could literally break both of your arms right now, Kevin. Um, he's like, you fucking bitch, you fucking, you fucking bitch. And I was like, I could literally break both of your arms. I don't know why would you do this, anyways. So uh, in the video, you just hear me say, "All right," and we're like rolling on the ground. And you just hear me say, "All right, time for you to go night night." And uh, so I I get him onto his stomach, and I'm still on his back. <laughs> no value of life. And anyways, I um. I then applied more pressure. I didn't choke him out cold, but I applied more pressure until he really started flopping around like a fish. And then I was like, get up, get up, get the fuck out. So that's not the end of the Kevin I'm story because then we got to, so that that was basically it. I, I choked him until he understood that I could choke him out cold if I wanted to. And then uh, we, I stood up and I pushed him out of the room and slammed the door in his face. And I was like, well, that was a waste of fucking time. So in the video, my, my roommate starts recording right at the point where I walk up to him and I spin him around and, and get him into a rear naked choke and fall over. Why did he start this shit? Because he said that he wanted to kick my ass. I don't even, I don't, I didn't do anything. I had nothing, no, no interaction with the guy. No interpersonal relationship whatsoever. He just said that he wanted to kick my ass for fucking no reason. So we get to infantry training. You guys, and you guys will like this part. We get to infantry training, and wouldn't you know it, we had a course of 26 people, 
uh, one person died horribly. One person went literally insane, literally bananas. He tried to kill an instructor and uh, one person got kicked off. So, oh, that was it. So, um, <laughs> and of course I had to respond to each of those incidents. So, uh, of these 26 people, wouldn't you know, wouldn't you know that uh, the person who got um, kicked off the fucking course was Private Kevinum, the biggest shit pump fucking bag of rocks that the goddamn military has ever seen. This dude was so useless. He was a fucking bag of hammers. The guy couldn't do anything. He was in terrible shape, which I was too, but at least I tried. Um, and he was just fucking so dense. He was so stupid, just really unintelligent. Um, and uh, so anyway, so what I, what I liked is a couple of my favorite memories is um, he immediately made himself the enemy of everybody on the course because on Thanksgiving, uh, the weekend before Thanksgiving, we were CB'd confined to barracks meaning when it's the weekend you sit in your fucking room you polish your weapon you keep your fucking mouth shut well private kevinum decided that actually meant he could go to lloyd minster a town um, two hours away and go to the fucking mall to shop for a new ipod well wouldn't you know who saw him face to face in the electronics boutique if it wasn't one of our fucking course instructors himself who apparently walked up to him, and this guy's name, Sergeant G, we'll call him, from Cape Breton, the ultra-Canadian, walked up and was like, holy sweet fuck, Private Kevin, I'm fucking fancy meeting you here. I could have fucking sworn I said that you guys were CB'd. And he was like, oh, 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 oh. yes, yes, Sergeant, I forgot. I was just going to do a quick trip. So... Uh, the sergeant came back and his first course of action was to immediately revoke all of our leave passes for the next month, including Thanksgiving. So all of my friends who had bought plane tickets to go and see their families for Thanksgiving, immediately gone, just like that. They actually walked up in front of us and ripped our leave passes in half in front of us, courtesy of uh, Private Kevinum, because Private Kevinum defied the orders of the instructors and the instructors, that's the way it works in the military. If you fuck off your instructors in the military, they don't punish you, they punish everybody else. So uh, they ripped up our leave passes right in front of us. And so now Private Kevinum is getting actual death threats. People are threatening him with a blanket party. If you guys have heard of the term blanket party, it's not what you think it is. It's not the fun time tickle fight. It's uh, a blanket party is where you put bars of soap into a pillowcase and you hold the person down with a blanket and you beat the fucking shit out of them with bars of soap it's literally exactly what happens in um full, full metal jacket uh the term for it uh, we call it a code red here yeah in the canadian military they call it a blanket party so uh they were get, he was getting some very actionable very real threats for a blanket party like people wanted to actually beat this guy into fucking oblivion um was did i did that actually happen to me before no in fact give me one second i want to see if i can show you guys something because it's kind of neat <laughs> give me one second god damn it fuck off hold on now i want to show you this now i want to show you something so just wait just wait a moment just wait a moment sir uh this should be easier to find if it's not i'll fucking give up I ain't about that life. I ain't about sitting here for six hours searching for it. Is it going to be difficult? Because I'm just going to say fuck it if it's going to be difficult. It might be difficult. It's looking like it's being difficult. Damn it. Because all the, I just feel like I'm making all of these lofty claims that you guys could be like, ah, he's full of shit. Fuck you, Milton. And I'll be like, no, but it's not that way.
Damn it. Okay, well, you know what? The point is, fuck it. Forget it. Fuck it. The point is, no, I actually didn't get um, blanket partied because, uh, believe it or not, in basic training, I was uh, I was voted by my peers to receive the comradeship award. They gave four awards in um, in basic training: uh, best marksman, um, most physically fit, um, best soldier, and comradeship award. And I got the comradeship award. So that was cool. It gave me a lifetime subscription to uh, a lifetime uh, membership, lifetime membership to the Legion, which I thought was kind of neato burrito. So no, I didn't get, uh, I didn't get blanket party. Thankfully, I, I, uh, I, I got along well with my peers, which was nice. Private Kevinum, on the other hand, no sir. Private Kevinum was the enemy of the fucking people. Um, I also realized that we're just driving around breaking traffic laws. We're probably going to get arrested again. So I'm going to try to drive a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit according to the law. Uh, what's the Legion? The Legion in Canada is basically the organization for all veterans. I actually had the award given to me by a World War II vet, which was pretty fucking nutty. Oh, seatbelt. Yeah, good thinking. Um, so anyways... So here, Private Kevinum is getting threatened by... Man, I want to find this fucking plaque so I can show you guys. Oh, actually, I think I might be able to find it much easier on Facebook. Because I know that I uploaded to Facebook. Give me a second. Uh, that would be where it is. I don't think I have the video on Facebook, though. The video of me, you know, beating the shit out of Private Kevinum. See here. Oh, also, also, I think you guys will get a kick out of this. Those of you guys who are saying that I look like uh, you're on Greyjoy, turns out I've actually done a cameo in another movie too. Inglorious Bastards. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, scrolling back. Scrolling back. Oh, yeah. You guys will like this. You guys want to see what happened to me? One week before my infantry training started, I was running through a field doing an exercise and uh, you had to like sprint. We were sprinting and I stepped into a tire tread without seeing it because the grass was really tall. And with my full force came down on my foot which went completely sideways underneath me. And I, it literally felt like stepping on a carton of eggs. Like I just felt it go. And uh, this was how I went into infantry training. You can imagine how much that, how much fun that was trying to do ruck marches and shit like this. This was my fucking leg. I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it looked at. Otherwise they would recourse me. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was how your boy Milton went into infantry training. <laughs> the first few weeks were fucking super fun. Real fun times. Real fun times. Oh, oh, here's a, oh, here's a good one. You guys will like this actually. Holy shit. Uh, you guys will like this. You guys want to see what your boy looked like in the middle of infantry training? Because obviously in infantry training, you can't have a beard. You guys want to see what your boy Milton looked like? You're getting trained to be a machine gunner? Here's your boy Milton. <laughs> your boy. Milton T. Pike 1. Sans beard. <laughs> Man, those were the days, hey? Although I'm not finding this fucking, I don't, man. I'm ready to just say fuck it. I'm ready to say fuck it. Why can't I find it? Whatever. 
Forget it, chat. Just forget I ever fucking said anything, okay? Forget I ever said fucking anything! You motherfucker. Oh my Kinky. god. Oh my god! Special Why Can I get a Dante? chance to get a seven to stop no! on constant I'm gonna have Kiki no! Chanel in a solo bullet. No! Why? You hang tight, Kiki. Don't move, okay? What is the problem? Hey, what KK, the fuck are you the doing? Vehicle. Stop the vehicle. I'm not. I was Stop never driving the fucking vehicle. I've been waiting for my fucking boyfriend, Dante. Uh huh. Okay, walk away from the vehicle for me. Okay, Chanel. yeah, of course. What the fuck? Jesus. You look what go. you just fucking did go. to the front of it. I'm not getting in there. Look what you fucking did to the front of it, Dante. Jesus Christ. I didn't even how touch the fuck it. am I going to. Yeah, what do you mean you didn't touch it? You fucking wrecked the front of it. Do you know how much it's going to cost to get this fucking repainted? Oh my God. Uh, Jesus. I didn't even Dante, touch it. you fucking wrecked the front it. of it. Okay, you get out of here, Mr. Now, okay? Yeah, fine. Well, I'm not going to get. I'll sit in the fucking passenger seat. I'm not just gonna leave his fucking car. No, 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 Chanel, Chanel get, out, get out of the car. It's not illegal to sit in the fucking Kiki. passenger seat of my boyfriend's car, Dante. That's not against any law. You can't fucking tell What's me to not to do name? that. What's your boyfriend's name? Uh, you, you know him. What's your boyfriend's He's name? He's a fucking lawyer. I don't know him. I don't have to fucking tell you Who? that. What's his name? I don't have to fucking tell you that. I'm gonna run the plate, see if it comes back to a lawyer, okay? Oh, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, he didn't sign up for the car with I'm a lawyer. James Alley, taxi driver. Okay, Mission, I want you to step out the vehicle for me, okay, ma'am? I don't have to fucking step out of the vehicle. What law says I have to step out of the vehicle? Tell me the KK. law. Tell me the law that step says I have to step out of the vehicle. Tell me the law. McLean. What do you mean? Tell me the law and I'll step out of the fucking vehicle. Breaking the window. Tell me the law. Tell me the law and I will step out of the fucking vehicle. Nice. Jesus KK, Christ. I'm going to tase you. I'm Tell me you. the law and I'm I'll step you. out. You're not giving me a reason why. You're just Five. saying that I have to. Oh, oh shit! Oh, get fucked on! Woo! Can you tell me the oh, law no. and I'll get out? Oh, well, you fucked up now. Now you have fucked up. Disregard, ladies. Now you have fucked up. Oh, Fine. no. I'm actually not even hurt. What the fuck? Okay, okay. Yeah. just tell yeah, me that I'll step yeah, out. Yeah, I, I will step not. out. Just tell me why. If you tell me why, I'll step out. Because, Kiki, it's not your boyfriend's car, so I want it you to step out. It is my fucking boyfriend's okay. car. And now you're going to pay for all the fucking Kiki. damage you've done to the door. Kiki, what I want you to do is walk the opposite way. Go. Now. I'll walk a little ways away. This is his fucking car. I said I'd look after for him while he goes to buy some drug chips. Some chips. Uh, while he buys some chips. Ch no, just chips. He's just buying uh, some Kiki, chips. By and... the way. <clears throat> what? That's for you. Uh, uh. Okay, now go, Kiki. Okay. Get out of here. All right. It's just that easy, Chad. We weren't actually driving the car. Are they going to impound it? Are they going to impound that fucking car? Those toxic masculine fucks. So, Private Kevinum um, is getting all these death threats, basically. And... Um, I decided, you know what? I don't even know why, but I decided I feel like the guy has no allies. So I told him to meet me in this spare room, which is sort of like the weapons cleaning room. And I was just like, hey, Private Kevin, I'm like, how's it going? Like, I just wanted to say, I know you're on everybody's shit list right now. 
um i know you're in everybody's shit list but i just want to say like keep going it's just training once you get to the battalion things will be fine you don't have to worry about your interpersonal relationship with these other dudes on the course like just keep putting one foot in the in front of the other and don't let the negativity get a hold of you blah 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 and he immediately burst into tears and started hugging me and i kind of felt like holy shit the in the time that truck was there and then it was gone they fucking impounded it and drove their vehicles away well god damn it so he immediately burst into tears and started hugging me and it was uncomfortable for me because if you remember three weeks earlier i had just choked him out in my fucking <laughs> in the barracks because he would put my name tag across his dick so he bursts in tears and starts hugging me and saying thank you and it's been hard and blah 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 and I say, I know, like, yada, 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 training is stressful, blah, blah, blah. So then he decides from that point on, and I was fine with it. I was fine with it. He decides from that point on that I'm basically the only, the only friend he has on the course, which wasn't too far from the truth. Everybody fucking hated the guy. Everybody fucking hated the guy. So, uh, and I'd be like the only guy, if he was having a really hard day, I'm like, like come and talk to me, Private Kevin. But it, the, the bullshit didn't stop. Like, he didn't stop being a dick after that. I remember um, maybe two weeks later, we were on the rifle range, and we were uh, doing whatever drills, and I was the course senior, and you have to assign somebody to be the flag runner. They hold a red flag, and they run along the relay of soldiers, letting everybody know that, hey, here's the relay of soldiers, and they are firing ammunition. And uh, so I'm sitting there, and some relay had been done. In private, Kevinum looks at me, and uh, and he's like, hey, Milton, aren't you going to assign a flag runner? <laughs> you need to assign a flag runner, Milton. And I was like, okay, Private Kevin, thank you for volunteering. You are now the flag runner. And he was like, actually, I already have done the flag running. I don't have to run any kind of flag. And one of our instructors um master corporal b a different master corporal b was right behind him oh my god man so in the in the american armed forces they call the expression um being smoked and that's if like some if you fuck up an instructor needs to lay into you they call it being smoked in the canadian military it's called being jacked up not jacked off not jacked on it's called being jacked up and uh I don't know in my five years of the army, I've seen someone get jacked up worse than Private Kevinum got jacked up for doing that. This Master Corporal that was right behind us, so I go, you fucking idiot! What do you mean you've already done it? You're gonna fuck your buddies, you buddy fucker! Get your stupid fucking ass up there and grab that fucking flag and run your stupid fat ass! Let's fucking go! And Private Kevinum gets up and he's screaming and all the rest. So don't worry, we're nearing, we're nearing the end of the Private Kevinum saga because what I liked was after that happened and now this guy's running with this flag, one of my favorite fucking military personnel I've ever met, this guy, Sergeant M, is standing at the ammo table and he's like loading magazines. And from off in the distance, I hear him say, you guys better smart the fuck up. It's already gonna be a pretty small graduating parade. We got a fucking course of 26 people here gonna be a pretty fucking small course to graduate 26 people 25 when you consider kevin um <laughs> this was in like week four i was like oh jesus <laughs> oh my god um now my favorite part was that sure enough training went on and kevin M had many other fuck ups but the day it all came together was in the last two weeks of training so it was tw week 12 out of a 14 week course um private kevinum uh they they had, had a, an egregious misstep on the part of the military we were out in the training area and they had no porta potties for us so um which is really bad it's actually like a really serious chargeable offense to the people in charge of the course to not be providing us with washroom facilities so instead, uh, four times a day, they would truck us out of the training area, back to the barracks to take a shit and all the rest. 
So one morning it's like 8 a.m. and we're waiting for uh, the, the truck to take us back to the barracks. And um, Kevin um, looks at me and he's like, M Milton, Milton. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, I gotta take a shit. And I was like, okay, well, you know, the truck's gonna be here soon. And he was like, no, like I really gotta take a shit. And I was like, yeah, okay, buddy. Like, I get it, man. The, the truck's gonna be here in seven minutes. And he was like, oh. Like, I really gotta take a shit, man. And I was like, okay, yeah, great, great. Yeah, I get it. You need to take a shit, fantastic. Just go take a shit in the woods. And he was like, ah. Oh. And he was sort of like pacing back and forth. And then like maybe three minutes later, he was like, Milton, I really gotta take a shit. And I was like, dude, go shit, man. Go shit in the fucking woods. Use a sock for underwear and then pitch the sock into the woods. Who cares? And he just sort of paces back and forth. And then sure enough, in front of 24 other soldiers and 10 members of staff, he stands up and he goes, Milton, 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 Milton. And I said, yeah, and no joke. He was, I just shit my pants. And I was like, what? You just, why did you say my name? Why would you say my name? And he's like, I just shit my, I just shit my pants. And I was like, are you being serious right now, Kevin? He's like, dude, I just shit my pants like a lot. I was like, well, stop, man, pinch it off. Clap your turd cutter. Why are you still shitting? Are you kidding me? Stop shitting. Why am I the person you fucking told? Why did you need to announce this? So, um, the truck came and uh, somehow we managed to cram pack 23 soldiers into the front one third of the canvas back truck as Private Kevinham stands at the end holding onto the fucking canvas. And uh, we get back, oh. oh, it literally gives me the heebie jeebs because I remember watching him run to the, uh, to the showers and seeing him dripping on the floor the whole way there. So he gets into the shower. <laughs> hoses himself off and uh and it's like a fucking it is like a goddamn bomb went off in the fucking um it was like a fucking bomb went off in the shower so we get back out we get back out we go back to the training area all the rest same day this same day we're doing a room clearing exercise so we're clearing this building and uh it was actually really fucking cool we're clearing this building, we're doing all of our drills properly and blah, blah, blah. And um, we're now we're doing the drill with live simunition, okay? So it's not actual bullets, but it's, um, it's, bu it's bullets that are paint tipped, sort of like a paintball gun, except it's just a bullet with paint on the end. So it's designed to not kill you. It just will split your skin open and all the rest. And we're told to, we're told to, we're told to treat this as though this is live ammunition, right? So, they're doing this drill, they're clearing this house, they're walking up a set of stairs. Uh, Private Kevinum, I just almost said his real name. Private Kevinum is doing the rear security, which means he's like at the very back of the party. So he's providing rear safety, right? He's not looking where they're going. He's aiming backwards and they're going up the stairs and Sergeant M is walking up behind him and Private Kevinum with a 30 round magazine loaded into the C7A2 556 NATO millimeter assault rifle points it straight at Sergeant M's face, straight at his face. And Sergeant M was like, Kevin, um, what the fuck are you doing? And he was like, what, what do you mean? And he was like, what the fuck are you doing right now? And he was like, I'm providing rear security. And he was like, you're now pointing a loaded assault rifle with a 30 round magazine at my face from four feet away. And he was like, yeah, but it's training. Aren't I supposed to pretend you don't exist since you're an instructor? And I just remember hearing Sergeant M go, Give me your fucking rifle. And he was like, what? And he's like, give me your give me your fucking rifle. Kevin him. And he was like, uh, 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 okay. And he gave him his rifle. And uh he just walked, he walked out of the building with it. And I think Sergeant G walked up and put a stick in his hands. And um, and he was kicked off course half an hour later. The dude got to week 12 of 14. And uh, pointed his fucking assault rifle at an instructor's face. And they were like, there's literally no way 
that we can pass this guy. That is such an egregious safety violation to be 12 weeks into a 14 week course and not understand that you shouldn't point a loaded assault rifle at someone's face, you know, an instructor's face, a friendly person's face from four feet away um, that uh, they were like, we, we had to fail him. And I just remember talking to Sergeant G later Sergeant G was my favorite. He would come in if it was like the weekend and he was assigned to make sure that we went to bed by 11 p.m. He'd come in and say, holy fuck, boys. I want to see fucking lights out by 11 p.m. There's a new fucking Call of Duty game and it's Shirley Temple night. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I'd be like, okay. Um, anyways, uh, I remember I went up to Sergeant G after all this went down and I was like, man, that was crazy how that all happened with Private Kevin, um, huh? And he was like, oh, fuck, I tell you about it. I just fucking knew there was no fucking way I could fucking pass somebody who shit his fucking pants. There's no fucking way I could ever live as a fucking instructor knowing that I had given someone a fucking pass who shit his fucking pants willingly. <laughs> I was like, I, I completely understand. I completely understand. Why do I hear shooting? The fuck is going on? So anyways, yesterday with my friend, the guy who was having a really hard time, we reminisced. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> 